next dumber point is the perfective tenses of the intransitive verbs. The participle itself is the perfective tense in Hindi. It is simple perfective. The English translation is the simple past. Let's try to understand it through examples. Larka utha, the boy got up. The verb here is utna, to get up, to wake up. It is an intransitive verb. The masculine participle is utha, and the participle itself is the simple perfective tense or simple past tense in Hindi. Larka utha, the boy got up. If the subject is ladki, the girl, the simple past tense would be uthi. Ladki uthi, the girl got up. And the masculine plural would be the boys got up. Ladke uthe. For the verb ana, to come, ladka aya, the boy came. Ladki aai, the girl came. And ladke aai, the boys came. Let's take pronouns as subjects. Main aya, I came, a boy is saying, the participle here is masculine. If the subject is a girl, she would say, main aai, I came. And we came would be, hum aai. Similarly, wo utha, he got up. Wo uthi, she got up. Aap uthe, you got up. Here, aap is masculine plural. There are three perfective tenses, and fortunately, they are very similar to English tenses. They correspond to the English tenses. Simple perfective is simple past. Present perfective is similar to English present perfect. And Hindi past perfective is English past perfect. Here is the table that gives you the corresponding tenses in Hindi and in English. Main aya is I came. Main aya hu is I have come. Main aya tha is I had come. Wo ai, she came. Wo ai hai, she has come. And wo ai thi, she had come. Hum I we came, hum I have we have come, hum I the we had come. We I they came, we I ha they have come, we I the they had come. Keep in mind, most of the time the simple past will be used. You will most frequently use the tense in the first column. The present perfect and the past perfect are very precise tenses and they occur very rarely in everyday conversation. So always try to stick to the simple perfective. Just use participle for the past tense. Here are some example sentences. Aaj main paanch baje utha. Today I woke up at five. A boy is saying this sentence. The verb form is masculine. Utha. Uska pati Mumbai se aya hai. Her husband has come from Mumbai. Aarti Nepal gai hai. Aarti has gone to Nepal. Gadi station par nahi ruki, the train did not stop at the station. Gadi is a feminine noun, that's why the participle is feminine, ruki. Ma gaon se abhi loti hai, mother has just come from the village. A few more examples. Kal hum bahut tair nahi sake, we could not swim a lot yesterday. Here we have the model verb sakna, can in the past tense, so we could. Ve ladkiyan kal der se soin, those girl went to bed late yesterday, slept late yesterday. When there is a feminine plural subject, the verb form at the end of the sentence will get nasalization. That's why we have the nasalized participle, soi. Kal party kitne baje tak chali? Until when did the party last yesterday? <laughs>